What are you doing? I feel like every blog or vlog, whatever we call this, needs to have a little bit of butt in it because he is uh, the only living thing in my house when my wife is not home. Uh, yeah, so no one's home. But I wanted to show something that I've gotten really into over the last, how long has it been? Last month or so. Uh, my uncle got a new coffee machine or a new espresso machine. So he gave me his old one, and the old one is the Barista Express Pro. So it's one up from the Barista Express or uh, whatever that one, other one is called. So this is it. This is the Barista. Uh, I'll go over some of the things here I have. So here, by Normcore, there you go, Normcore. Uh, this is a WDT tool, something Weiss distribution. This really helps with the moving the espresso grinds around to flatten out the bed and also to reduce clumps, to reduce channeling, which causes like sour uh, espresso and stuff like that. Got a knock box. After you're done making the espresso, you like knock it on here to get the puck out. I have a puck in there. Uh, this is actually a bottomless portafilter. It's a little bit wet uh, from earlier. But what this does is you're allowed to see the espresso come out the bottom and I really enjoy that I think it's really nice just to see it, see it and you can see the flow so it's a little bit easier to diagnose if you're uh, brewing too fast so if you need to reduce your grind size or increase it if it's too bitter or um, too sour then here we have the machine itself before I turn it on um, I have the fellow over here my friend TJ got me this when I moved into the place it's a great litter, litter, a great little water boiler um, to make Americanos or just drip coffee. Here is something else my uncle gave me. This is a distributing tool to distribute the grinds out on top and also to flatten it. I don't use the flattening side too much of this. I don't think it's that good, um, but this has been okay. Uh, there's probably better ones. This here goes on top. It's a funnel. And I use this to distribute uh, the, the grinds when I use the Weiss tool, blah, blah, blah. Um, I really enjoy it. Very easy. And then here is uh, for coffee grinds, right? So when you push this into here, there's a little button in the back. And it causes this to activate and to make the coffee come out. Then here is my hopper. It's a $10 hopper attachment that is supposed to help reduce the retention of beans uh, in the hopper. So what does that mean? If you put in 20 grams of beans and you just grind it, 20 grams of beans will not come out of here, right? So you maybe will have like one gram of beans missing if you were to re-weigh it. So what I do here is when I'm done, I turn this back on. This is gonna whirl because there's nothing in there and you push it down. And it just throws air through and it helps reduce the retention. Is it perfect? No, but it's better than having old beans sitting here, right? And I also have a Hario scale here that, uh, do you know, it's, it's even a look. The Hario scale that we've had here for a while um, to make our beans. And before I turn this on, over here, I have the Encore Baratza. And we moved it over here because we just have less space these days. So the Breville. Right, so let's turn it on. Cool, it's on very quick. Over here is how we adjust the grind size. Over here, if you throw it back, it makes water come out the spout on the bottom over here. It's on the side. Uh, this turns the steam wand on. It's 360, whatever you want to call it. Uh, single shot, double shot. I only do ever do double shots, so, you know. That as you will. And we have a menu button here to go through different settings. I don't mess with these too much. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's anything else to go over with this. So yeah, that is everything that I have. I just wanted just to go over uh, the machine that I've got thanks to my uncle. I've added a few things and it's such a rabbit hole. There's so many different things you can get. I never thought I'd have a cork with uh, acupuncture needles on it 
kind of random. And we're getting a new tamping mat to come in to help tamp the grounds or uh, just to hold the porta filter and stuff like that. So. Yeah, so just a rabbit hole. Um, that's everything that I have today. So thanks y'all for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to do that. And yeah, I'll just share my work from home stories. Because, you know, when I have my lunch break, what else am I going to do? I'm going to probably have something in my teeth. But anyways, bye-bye.